I remember the uh, the Venusian. Oh, hold on one second. I remember the uh, Venusian quality challenges stuff that I uh, forgot last time. So let's talk about it. Um, I talked about the challenges and the strengths inherent with Martian energies, with the sun, with men. I forgot a couple of important characteristics for challenges for women with Venus. Um, and they're basically the challenges of, of Libra and Taurus. With Libra, um, the challenge of superficiality is definitely something to work, be worked on. Of, um, and I've heard it from many a uh, female friend of how frustrating it can be that um, it seems like, and again, this is lower order female energies, but uh, they ha the, my female friends will have female friends. And they'll, they'll think that everything is going wonderfully and that the friendship is beautiful and everything is clear and, you know, just lovely. And then they'll find out that that person is talking behind their back or gossiping or something like that. Um, that kind of superficiality is um, very destructive, very destructive. Because naturally, if you can't trust somebody, how can you be their friend? How can you invest time and energy in to a relationship that superficiality also goes for looks also goes for um, uh, I mean women can be absolutely unconditionally loving with that cancerian beautiful nurturing loving energy but Libra energy this aspect of the feminine entity can very much provide the challenge of, of focusing only on outer characteristics, on that which can be seen. And uh, this also goes towards the Libran love of luxury and basically being swayed and um, focusing only on luxury items like, you know, the stereotypical stuff of cars, houses, money. And uh, this also goes with the Cancerian and Taurian too because Taurus is also... Uh, ruled by Venus, it's the earth part, Libra is the air part. Uh, that's misleading with the higher and lower, but earth and air, I guess, all in one, I guess you could say. But um, Taurus and Cancer also love security, so it can be a little bit all too easy for a lower energy manifestation for women of focusing only on that which will seem to provide security and provide luxury to them. And... Um, it's just something to work on. It's something. It's a challenge to overcome in your own life and to reach the highest form. You know, um, Libra at its highest form isn't superficial at all. It's it's appreciating the person for their unique characteristics and what makes them beautiful from the inside out. And um, understanding how that beauty plays a part in the world. And uh, the higher manifestation of Taurus is being wonderfully humble and wonderfully earthy, you know, instead of gimme, 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 Taurus energies, of lower order energies of um, more, more, more. I need more to possess, to own. I need bigger and better and all that junk. Instead of getting caught in that, Taurian energy at the highest manifestation is wonderfully humble and satisfied with how things are and don't need fancy anything you know i mean although definitely our uh, taurian energies add a wonderful fine eye and detail for for beauty and that certainly includes precious stones and, and all sorts of you know material wealth and luxury um taurus is wonderfully content with just having enough you know just having again at its highest form having enough love, you know, in, in the sense of a partner who cares about them, and um, having enough shelter and, and food and water. Um, yeah, so those are some of the challenges I forgot in the other video, and it reminded me of a, a male challenge as well for male entities. Um, just to reiterate, those incarnating as male and, and those incarnating as female, like I mentioned in the video before. But the uh, idea of, not the idea, but the 
aspect of possessiveness, of owning, of accumulating infinitely to have some kind of inner sense of security and worth is very much a male thing too. And uh, that's where Scorpio, the partner sign for Taurus, comes in. And um, males, have, we have to work on being obsessive about getting more power, more and bigger and better and just all of that. It's an endless cycle and again, at the end of the day, we just have to be okay with ourselves, male or female, from the inside out to really appreciate that which we have, which is all we needed all along. Ah, something else I forgot. Um, being that men are very much influenced by Aries energies, by Mars, um, we oftentimes get headaches, uh, especially when stressed or especially when we have a, a lot that we know we need to do. And uh, of course also when angry or you know in a volatile, agitating situation. So head massages are wonderful for us. And as men, we can do it. I mean, I just, I just did one for myself recently and it's, oh, it's so good just 10 minutes ago and it just infinitely smooths out our energies and, and really gets it all to be flowing nicely instead of getting it all built up here and us figure or focused on you know figuring things out and focused on uh, how to proceed and, and you know all the stuff we need to do basically so women that's a great tip for you is um, you know if you notice that your guy or, or just any masculine entity that you know, is really frazzled um, just even as a, a nice gentle touch would really help but especially a full-on head massage is beautiful it gets out all of that excess fire energy and really gets it all flowing and I think you'll find that uh, men after we have a head massage whether by ourselves or by a lovely lady companion or a lovely male companion for that matter um, I think you'll find I found at least that Everything that you were worrying about before flows so easily. The solution that you were so focused on before, but you can quite find flows so easily. And as, as it is, you know, I mean, if you're not full of tension and knots, then everything will flow beautifully in your life. Even when it seems like it's um, coursing in a, a tough way, you know, if it feels like it's out of control. Once you relax and just center yourself, you know, everything works out beautifully. Um, I just realized I didn't talk about this really too much. Oh, where's my water? One second. Must, oh, five it. Um, but body parts corresponding. I talked about this a little bit, like cancer and, and breasts. and um, But talking about it more, um, body parts in conjunction with being a male entity and a female entity. And it's funny, the first thing that comes to mind, but, you know, it's, it's true... Uh, is for men, um, it's Martian energy, Scorpio and Aries, especially Scorpio. I'm not sure if Aries actually does rule the genitalia, but um, Scorpio definitely does. And that is a lovely um, expression of our energies, you know, whether through having sex or masturbation, guys definitely need to get that powerful sexual energy out there. and. and Quite literally, but also figuratively, you know. Otherwise, it, it kind of it just it gets all trapped and it combusts. And whew. I mean, literally, I mean, imagining that literally is quite a scene and quite a scary scene. But figuratively, it's it's no fun to be around a man who is ultra Martianized. I guess you could say is absolutely just very impossible to be around because everything is a Everything is now projected when he's not sexually flowing well, you know. Um, everything is now projected onto his actions and onto people around him. And, um, you know, at the most uh, innocent of these, uh, of the manifestation of this, you have a dude who is just overly aggressive. And it's just like, oh my God, this guy needs to fucking get, you know. <laughs> um, and of course, at the most... Uh, challenging of uh, this manifestation is our incredibly destructive acts for everyone involved, such as rape, 
and uh, molestation. So it's very important for that that to be recognized in the male entity, you know, gonads. That, that is a part of, of Mars, and um, that needs to be taken into account and regulated in your life. That's why you know, these, uh, I mean, well, everyone's different, but for me personally, the whole not masturbating philosophy, it's a scary one to me because I just, I, the combustion you can feel, you know what I mean, whether it's in you as a man or in another person. Uh, 